you so fucking precious when you smile <laughs> yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I lose myself up in those eyes <laughs> Boy, would you look at those balls! Hey everybody, it's me, John, and welcome back to the 2018 Jersey Shore Food Truck Festival. We're joined by my sister, Gustavo, with some balls, Kayla, we're just hanging out, he's on the phone, that's fine, but check out his shoes! Alright, so what do you guys rate those balls? Like a strong six and a half. Out of? Out of ten. Okay. Um, I would give them like an eight. <laughs> okay. What do you rate them, Kayla? Um, a seven. All right. This is a a avocado BLT. It has fried avocado in it, and bacon, and lettuce, and tomato. Oh, the brown salt. This is my French fries with chicken nuggets. All right, guys. I wasn't able to review this. It's more about me now. Uh, I ate it all. It would spend about like two minutes since I bought this. Um, and I feel indigestion. What would you rate it? Oh yeah. Hey, like, you want some ketchup? It's a nine out of ten burgers. Very nice, Kayla. What would you rate yours? Um, um, eight. Very good. What did he get? Lobster. Excuse me? A lobster roll? Okay. <laughs> What's your rating after those bites? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That's a strong eight. Okay. I gotta say, guys, there's no better feeling than using your hard earned money and paying for your family's food. It's $8.50. <laughs> Oh, what should have here? it should be eight. Yes, Gus, he has 50 cents. Oh, Gus, Wait, Gus, oh, I need 50 cents or a dollar. We found on huh? the drop. 50 cents or a dollar now. Why? Because it's 8.50, I only give her eight dollars. Oh, okay, give her a dollar. dollar. Give me a dollar. <laughs> this is urgent. I'll, I'll pay you back. Oh, never mind, I have a dollar. God damn. <laughs> Sorry. So Gus, Gus just forgot his credit card. Typical, a typical thing that he would do. Yes. <laughs> what happened? What? What happened? The lady wanted my number. Oh. <laughs> because of his addiction to gambling, it was no surprise that my dad was found betting on horses all day long. I soon realized that the only way I would get any respect from my dad would be if my horse won a race. And after watching race number 9, I realized that I had to bet on horse number 2. When the race began, it seemed very close, and maybe, just maybe, I had a chance at gaining my father's respect. However, as the horses crossed the finish line, it seemed like number two was lost. But it turned out that he was in last place. Yeah, he sucked. In the end, we have to remember that things won't always go our way. Maybe our horse will never win the race. And maybe we'll never gain our father's respect. But who needs any of that anyways? Let's party! kidding me? That's it. It, <laughs> it literally exploded on itself. That one was bad. 